Hi, welcome to month one of The Principal Effect. I'm Trusta Neal. So in your packet, you will receive on week one, you'll receive the, the cover and what do they, and you'll also receive like an overview, looks like this. It'll be an overview of your, of month one. So it'll just explain week one, you're gonna receive a curiosity poster, which is going to be a time-lapse picture of, um, of the stars. Week two, you'll receive uh, the principle, nothing ex exists without God, which is going to be a discussion, a lesson. And then you're going to receive the third week is going to be a symbol activity, which is going to be making a pinwheel. And then the fourth week you'll receive, um, a rejoicing, like what you can do to rejoice. So week one, this is what you're going to receive. You're going to receive a poster and it's going to be a colorful poster with some mountains at the bottom and a time-lapse picture. You also receive a, and you can put that in a frame and put it anywhere up. If you'll refer to the principal effect manual, which looks like this, it says manual at the bottom, then in there, in that um, manual, you'll say like where to put the poster, how to put it up, different ways you can put it up and put it up through your house and start talking about it and questioning it. You'll also receive a black and white picture of the same picture of the same poster so that you can put, add it into your memorandum or into your notebook if for either you or for your children, either way. You'll also receive a blank one, which looks like this. And that way they could draw something that reminds them of this principle or they could draw the same picture that they, if, that's been on the poster. Now, now the first thing that it's on here, it says, nothing exists without a center. It's the principle of a point. Then I have the explanation of the picture and an interesting fact about the North Star. And then I end with a question. What is in my life? What in my life do I center my life around? Or what is my constant? And then the other question is, what else rotates around a single point? So these are questions that you can ask your children. Think about just thinking questions. So for the four, first full week, yeah, just think. Ask questions. Look at the picture. The next week, week two, is you get the remember the source lesson. So remember about Christ. It will look like this. Nothing exists without a center point. And these are just really cool questions. Like it'll give you examples of other things that that have like ripples in the water or trees the rings of a tree or um, a potter's wheel, lots of different things have center points where they center around. Um, other things that are talked about in here are centerpieces. So there are several different prophets that talk about um, centerpiece, the temples being a centerpiece or the temples being our um, symbol for our religion. And then there's some quotations from scriptures and from hymns in here, and you can talk about that. Week three, you will get relate with a symbol activity, and this one is a pinwheel. So there's a, the pattern is already there for you. You can just cut it out and create the pinwheel and then talk about it. How does the pinwheel go around? What is the center piece? Why do we, everything needs a center? Why does it need a center? And then create that. Another part of that activity, so you could do with the older children, is get on a teeter-totter or think about a teeter-totter. So here's some pictures of some men that got onto this big uneven teeter-totter and how they balanced on it. And then where is the safest place in the, in, on a teeter-totter, especially if it's an uneven one. And then week four, you'll get a paper that looks like this, is Retain and Rejoice Invitation. And because this is the month of gratitude or the just November is the gratitude month, I put in there to write thank you letters. And several different ways you can you can pretend. You can pretend you're a fictionist person writing a thank you letter to someone about what you learned about center points. And this is just an invitation to teach so that you can retain it in your mind and it goes into your heart when you teach it to someone else. And then it becomes a part of you when you share it. And so that is the full month and that's what you've received for the full month. Next month, we'll be talking about the omnipresence of God and how you, the, it goes around with the principle of the number one and how you can find God in everything. And there's a really great activities to go with it. So we look forward to seeing you at in month two. So be sure to download your manual, the principle effect manual and download month one and start sharing principle by principle with your family and with your other friends. Thanks.